Hi again, everybody. Steve Scott here, and uh, welcome to another episode in our ongoing Kaizen uh, lecture series uh, about training in the martial arts. I, uh, I welcome you, and I am pleased if you are uh, coming here for the first time, maybe uh, getting involved in our program, uh, welcome. And to those of you who have done this for some time, welcome back. Um, I, I want to say really quickly, use these little lecture things I have here these in the series in addition to the videos that are on uh, Welcome at Steve Scott YouTube channel or certainly in any other uh, format or, or media that you have out there. Uh, don't just, um, I can't answer a whole lot of questions here just yapping about it, but I'll, I'll try to bring up some things I think are interest to you. So that's why I'm doing these lecture series. Uh, okay, so let's get at it. We're going to talk today about the similarities between Kazushi, Sukuri, and Kake in judo that we know breaking the balance, fitting in, and throwing or executing the throw, and how that can apply to ground fighting as well. And um, so let's look at it. Kazushi really, uh, it, it means to control the movement, control the balance, or to break something, okay? So I'm, I'm breaking his will. I am breaking his movement. I am controlling his movement, okay? Uh, that's what it means, Kazushi. So translating it directly, so for throwing, we it, those of you who have done judo and sambo, you certainly know what that's about, breaking his balance, and, and good Kazushi is controlling movement. And we use that movement to control him and throw him. Um, so you can do the same thing in ground fighting. And so we'll just call that control. We could call it Kazushi if you wanted to, but we're call, controlling the situation. Now, in another video that I've done here a little in the lecture series is control the position, get the submission. It, it ties into this directly, okay? Uh, and you'll find what I'm talking about or what anybody else is talking about who's been around a while, all these things come full circle. Uh, you want to control your opponent, control the situation, and then impose your will upon him and win and, and get the submission, throw, whatever it may be. So uh, that's what this is about. So Kazushi in a standing situation, we'll call control in ground fighting. So I'm controlling the situation. I am controlling the position, okay? I'm controlling his movement. I have broken him down into a vulnerable position from a stable to an unstable situation. That's controlling the position, okay? And again, we talked about it, as I said in the other video, but specifically here, it relates, it, it, it relates directly to Kazushi. So the Kazushi part of ground fighting is controlling the position, getting in a dominant position, okay, improving your position and controlling it. The second thing, Sukuri. Sukuri actually means to build or construct something, okay? And so, but you're also, Sukuri implies trapping him, catching him, um, getting him into place, getting him in the right position to execute the move. So that's sukuri. Well, we can call that a trap, okay? So if I call kazushi, it's the same as control. Kazushi standing, control, ground fighting. Sukuri standing, trapping, ground fighting. So a trap. Um, um, Anne-Maria DeMars uh, has called it um, collecting his arm, like for going for Jujigatami. So you're collecting him. You're 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 getting control of him further. So that's what the the second phase of it. So that's the sukuri of it. Okay. We have kazushi. We have sukuri. We have controlling. We have trapping. Okay. Third thing is executing the move. Kake. Kake means to actually to execute, to to make it happen. Um, we want to make it happen. So after I control my opponent, after I trap him, I trap his arm, I trap his neck, I trap the body part that I'm attacking, his leg, if I'm doing sambo or submission grappling uh, or, you know, a fight MMA, um, I'm trapping. Third thing, I execute. I make the move happen. I do it. Okay. So control, trap, execute. Okay. Um, I've rolled him over in in a jujigatami, I'm doing sambo. Let's, here's the example. I'm doing sambo. Bam, I catch him, knock him down. I do a nice head roll movement for my jujigatami, my cross body arm lock. I roll him over. I'm controlling him. Okay. I get him onto his back. He's on his back. 
I'm laying across him in a leg press position where my legs are across his, his uh, torso and head. And I'm, I've now I've got him down. I was seated on my buttocks next to him in the, what, what I call a leg press position. And now I start trapping his arm. I've already started trapping his arm actually from the start, but I'm really further trapping it now. I'm collecting his arm. I'm going to get it so tight to my body, he no longer has control of it, and I do. Okay, so I've controlled him, I've trapped him. Now I'm going to lever his arm free. I'm going to pry his arm free and crank it out where I straighten the arm and get the straight, you know, Jujigatami, cross body arm lock. So those are the three elements. But also there's a, a third and a half. We'd say a fourth one, but it's really an extra to the execution. What I always called, especially in throwing techniques, kime, to follow through, to finish, to focus. And that's what it means here is to focus on this. So after I've executed the move, after I've pulled it straight, I'm not just going to assume he's going to tap out. I'm going to make sure I do everything to stretch that arm, you know, like in a Jujigatami situation, to stretch that arm as tight as I can with total control, arching the hips, head up, doing everything right, where I want to make him tap out. Okay? So that's what I'm doing now. I'm exerting that final little oomph. Look at it this way. The kime is, let's take a, a baseball player. He's at bat. He's at bat. He swings at the ball. He hits the ball. Okay. He's made contact with the ball and he follows through. He doesn't just hit the ball and stop swinging the bat. He hits the ball, follows through so he can hit the ball farther. It will travel farther. That's what kime or focus or finish is about. So when I roll him over and get him into that jujigatami and I stretch that arm out, I'm not just going to be happy stretching the arm. I'm going to make sure I get him to tap out. That is the follow through. So um, it's actually the finish. It's, it's, it's the final finish. Okay. So Kazushi, Sukuri, Kake, Kime in throwing. Okay. Control, trap, execute, finish in ground fighting. So they, 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 they parallel each other. Okay, and that's all I really want to talk about today is this: the, the, how you can parallel your standing fighting, your standing game, to your ground game, to your ground fighting. And, and uh, make no mistake, it is fighting on the ground. Even though we may have rules, we are still in a fight. So um, that's what that's what I want to talk about today was the the comparisons between standing and ground fighting. And and if you look at it this way, you will understand both your standing throwing techniques better, and you'll understand your ground fighting techniques better. Just some, some food for thought. You might have already thought about this. Maybe you haven't. If you haven't, let's do some more thinking about it. And uh, But until then, until the next one, I just wanted to leave that with you, and uh, thank you very much, and I'll bow out for now. And by the way, uh, keep watching our YouTube channel. We, we like having you there, and uh, stay tuned in. Thanks a lot.